Bats, they're some people's worst nightmare. But they're Marianne Moore's greatest passion, and more recently, her greatest concern. That's why we suited up to head into the caves. Here we go. We're searching for bats with white nose syndrome, a new disease that's shrouded in mystery. What is not known is how widespread this fungus is, whether or not it really is in fact recently introduced. About 60 feet in, we find our first specimen. Do you see that bone right there? Mm -hmm. That's her forearm. This guy is all alone, but there are plenty more ahead. Sounds like a lot of bats are waking up. Clusters cling to the walls, some already showing the subtle signs of white nose. This mine was affected last year, and a lot of bats died here. In fact, hundreds of thousands have died so far on the East Coast. They succumb to the illness during hibernation, so this is the best time to do research. Okay, we have a female. Once collected, it's time to head out and run tests. Samples are taken and data will be analyzed, all in hopes of finding out how white nose works and how it could be stopped. If it is a pathogen, then maybe there's something disrupted in their immune system, or maybe it's simply the ability of bats that are hibernating to mount an immune response that is causing them to be more susceptible. So why do we care? Well, besides being a major predator of agricultural pests and mosquitoes, bats could also be the canary in the coal mine, showing a general downhill slide of our environment. Marianne's team hopes that their research will provide some clues as to what's happening in the darkness.